Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Hello, let me see the project J Honeypot, a Java based network digestion tool with monitoring and intrusion detection J Honeypot, a Java based network digestion tool with a web based monitoring interface and rule based intrusion detection engine J Honeypot is based on Honeyed program by Niels Provers but features important enhancements First, since J Honeypot is written in Java, it can potentially run on various platforms, Windows or Unix, workstation or handheld devices. Second, J Honeypot has a rule-based intrusion detection engine whose design is guided by the analysis of real-world attack data. The attack data was collected by opening our J Honeypot to select possible attack. Third. J Honeypot includes a web based monitoring tool that is easily accessible and help network administrator better understand network traffic and possible attacks. Let me see the flow diagram for a J Honeypot project. First, incoming request. There are various requests coming from it. A J Honeypot is uh, act as an intermediate which capture the malicious packet silently then uh, after capturing packets it export the packet to dump file which is called tcp dump the packets are stored uh, and captured by using wireshark tool we can use the wireshark on jpcap tool and the snar tools to capture here we use the wireshark to capture the packets after that packet has captured we have to extract the packet into our system then after extracting, we store the date, uh, package data into database. After that, we here form new rules, set of rules for intrusions uh, like a blocked IPs. Then uh, we have the port to block and uh, request malicious request. Then uh, MAC address to block the particular MAC address users when it is considered as a malicious after that we fetch the stored data from the database uh, the packet data is fetched and analyze the packets analyze the packet with the formed rules when the packet uh, is analyzed then uh, when the data is matched to rules then it considered as a intrusions and displayed it separate uh, display panel then display the result to the user with GUI interface let me see the demo for this project Jihani port intrusion detection and disruption tool first is packet capturing now here we start a uh, wire shot it takes some seconds to start in that we choose a network adapter then click start here the packet are captured the source ip destination ip and the packet details are captured here after that stop that captured packet and here we click save this capture file just give a file name and save it it saved as a pcap format choose tcp dump format then save it after that import the packet i already captured a packet in that open the packet these are packet details and import tcp dump import it File are imported. These are packet details for each uh, packet. The request are this is uh, sample malicious packet details. Then click proceed. Now rules formation. Here we form set of rules. MAC filtering. Give a MAC address to form rules. 
fort kill rank give fort number like something just give the de description just click set for that you have to give a uh, hope count filtering when the count is exit from this value the packet is considered as malicious now request filtering when uh, number of request increase uh, when the given number of request here yeah, 1700 request blood <coughs> and set rules like that IP filter then duration filter are given here yeah. and uh, packet is uh, from particular time then uh, it is blocked now packet size filtering the size of packet is before means the packet is blocked then now uh, we view the rules this is already we found in the data this is a uh, filter type filter ID here the value and the message for the particular disruption intrusions this port filter this port is vulnerable here this trojan connecting backdoor this is port is trojan horse port like that we gave a set of uh, rules here now click home now intrusion detection in existing uh, intrusion detection is uh, only running in the command prompt we cannot easily identify the intrusion here we use the GUI oriented intrusion detection now MAC filtering the normal IP is shown here as normal the status message status intrusion means the intrusion details duration source packet ID source port destination port source IP destination IP TTL value that is hop count and the message a uh, status of the packet and the message of the particular attack or given here in the port filtering and port filtering the normal request are given here and intrusions are uh, separately displayed here this is duration source ip destination ip source mac destination mac and ttl value sequence number of the packet and vulnerable status and the message for the vulnerable now hope filtering this is hope this is set of uh, details of the packet and for vulnerable here the invalid hope message is given then request filter <laughs> this is detail duration source port duration it is uh, duration filtering here the duration vulnerable flooded request the request filtering here then now duration filtering this is normal packet this is malicious packet suspicious request duration message is displayed here now packet filtering the packet details this packet is allotted here invalid packet size the size is normal and displayed under filtered using the given tcb dump file and show it here that's all thank you